Hi, my name is Jen. Um, welcome to my flower farm. This is uh, a new challenge for me. This is my first YouTube video I'm trying to make uh, with encouragement from my husband. We've been talking about making a YouTube channel about the flower farm for a few years. Usually we talk about it in August when it's like really beautiful. And then I'm like, ah, I have no time to do that. But it's uh, March. I have a little bit more time to figure this out. So I'm going to spend the next few months learning how to make YouTube um, videos, seeing what I like, if I like it. I, I just think it's a challenge. Bob's going to help me. I think it'll be fun. I like learning new things. And I think a little bit of what we do, obviously we live on, I think, a gorgeous property. So I'd love to show you some of the beauty that I get to see every day, show you a little bit how I grow my flowers, a little bit of life with my dogs. Yeah, we're gonna see, see how it develops. I'm not sure anyone's gonna watch. It might just be entertainment for my sisters, but uh, that's great if they like it. And B, I'll have a record of what I do with myself all year because I'm not really good at record keeping. So I don't know, it'll be fun, I think. So this is my flower farm. Okay, I thought I should explain. These are my eucalyptus rose from last year. Um, they're not really hardy for Ontario. They usually die in our winters, but um, with a warm winter, and I thought if I covered them, maybe there's a chance that they would come back. And it has been a pr really quite warm winter in Ontario. Um, I had the plastic on for most of the winter, except a few weeks ago, I pulled it off because the temperatures were quite warm like very spring-like here, and I didn't want to cook them under the plastic. So uh, the temperature is now swinging the other way into more freezing temperatures, even though it's still not that cold, probably don't need to be covered, but I thought I have time. It doesn't take me long to put plastic back on. So these are my oldest peonies. I have all my peonies in fabric, um, usually in the fall. 
this year my son um went along and trimmed them all but we did a, l- a little bit late which is why I had to still snip some of the stems but usually in the fall I like to get all the leaves off but that never happened because of I was just busy, so it didn't get done. So I like to clean up the leaves, and then what I'm doing is just giving them a little lump with some compost, a couple scoops in each hole. Uh, try to get as many peonies as I get done before they start growing. They're ready. I don't know if you can see here to look down. Um, it's hard for me to see in the camera. This is them coming up already. So I have to get as much compost on as soon as I can now. So I just made some soil blocks, aren't they cute? Just little blocks of soil. Um, I like starting my lysianthus in these because they grow so slow and I can fit the 300 in a tray so I can fit more in my basement under my lights. buy lysianthus seeds I don't I think the only way you can buy it is when they have this pellet around them they're just like little balls the seed is like super super tiny so if they didn't put a pellet around it I wouldn't be able to do this with my fingers and my favorite way to seed is just with my fingers There is so much to show and very hard to show. Lesson learned this week, making YouTube videos is hard. Kudos to everybody that does that. Anyways, three trays are seated. These guys are restless. We're gonna go for a walk. Um, hope you enjoyed what we put together and we'll see you next time.